Hi, my name is Valerie. Today I want to continue my series on using the five in a row books in a co-op setting. I've been using book selections from Five in a Row Volume 1, and today we're going to be talking about how to use Night of the Moon Jellies by Mark Shasha in a co-op setting. We had a really good time with this book. Several of the little boys in my class like ocean uh, life and learning about the ocean and fish. So they really enjoyed learning about moon jellies in the story of Mark. It's a it's a true story about him as he finds a moon jelly in his grandma and he have a wonderful memory together on the night of the moon jelly. So I highly recommend this story. Uh, you will enjoy it. The activities that I came up with, I searched online like I always do in all of these videos you know that I just basically scour the internet for what everybody else has come up with and then I borrow those ideas or take those ideas and I try to make them work for what I'm doing. So my class is first through third grade and so I try to find th things that are a little bit challenging but not too babyish so it's kind of you know it's a it's a balancing act really to try to find something that fits but uh, the first thing we did was of course we always start with reading the story and we talk a little bit about the story uh, then uh, we did this jellyfish cut and paste craft that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers and I will post the link below in the description box for this but it's a wonderful craft uh, this is what the finished product looks like he's a, a fun little jellyfish now moon jellies as we talked about in class are not actual jellyfish. These are the little tentacles or stingers that they have. Um, and the moon jellies are not, they don't sting. So they're not really jellyfish. But this is the closest I could come to finding a jellyfish craft. There was no moon jellyfish craft available. And uh, the kids really had a good time with this one. One thing I loved about it was everything you see here, except for the smile, which I put on with a Sharpie, came with the package printout. So what you do is it comes with these patterns. You can either uh, get the ones for the kids to trace. You can print that out and they can trace it and then cut it out and then color it if they want. Or you can do what I did and they give you the pattern and you print it out on colored construction paper. So I printed the head out. You print those out and then you print out they give you one page of little tentacles and you print out the tentacles in different colors and they each get three of each color. Then we used stick glue and we glued on, we, well they cut out the tentacles and then we glued on the tentacles and then these eyes I printed out onto cardstock, white cardstock and they, they come out looking like this. And so I cut those out. I already had the eyes cut out because I wanted to save time. So they cut the head out and the tentacles and then they glued them on the back. And then I drew the little smile on if they wanted a smile. Some of them didn't want smiles. Some of them just wanted a neutral expression. No expression, but mine had a smile. And then they glued the eyes on. So I didn't have to buy anything extra. I just had to buy the construction paper and the cardstock. Everything else came in the in the in the printable. So that was awesome. The other thing we did was I did find a free online lap book like I often do. And in the lap book, now this story takes place in New England. So you can talk about all of New England. You can look at the different states, discuss each state that's in New England and learn about it. There's a lot of things you can explore with this book. We didn't have time for that. And the I, if you read the author's note in the back of this book, you'll see that it took place in Connecticut. So I narrowed it down from New England to Connecticut. And the lap book printable had all these uh, you're supposed to cut them out. You can see it has a tab right over here that says Connecticut and they, they all line up if you do all the states of New England and you can have a nice lap book where everything is cut out and neat. But we just took this one sheet. I didn't cut it out. I just gave it to them like this and then we talked about Connecticut. We filled in the state abbreviation, uh, the state capital, the flower, the state bird. We didn't get to finish all of this actually because our time ran out but we did get most of it done and they took this home. So that's about it. From that same printable I also printed this out, Night of the Moon Jellies and they copy or they can trace thousands of moon jellies stretched along the sea in every direction, which is near the end of the story. Uh, that's an actual passage from the book. And so I was going to have them trace this if we needed to have the time. And I didn't send this home because what kid wants to go home and trace, <laughs> trace words. But um, I had it in case we needed something to fill the time. Because if you've watched any of these videos before, you know that I try to have too many activities rather than too few. And if I need to send something home because I think they'll like doing it later, I do that. If not, I just take it back home and 
recycle it some other way. So um, it was a it was a really fun day, uh, something different. They there was a lot of cutting involved with all of this, cutting out each of these tentacles. So uh, my helpers and I ended up filling in the gaps at the end and and helping some of the kids uh, cut things out because it was a little challenging for some of them. Construction paper. Um, it's it's so easy to cut really it's almost too easy and it tears and so some of the little ones had problems with that but you know everybody's came out looking really cute so if you're wanting to use night of the moon jellies in your homeschool then I hope this will give you some ideas or if you're wanting to use it in a co-op setting or wherever whatever uh, these are just some tips that I found around the, the internet so I will post the links to that for you thank you so much for watching this I appreciate it if you haven't subscribed I would really love it if you would or leave me a comment give me a thumbs up it's all appreciated I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time